One of the most important images a doctor needs to be able to approach effectively is this one right here, a chest x-ray with a one-sided white lung. How confident are you when approaching these kind of images? For instance, take a look at these three ones right here. Are you able to list a differential diagnosis for each one of them? If you aren't, don't worry. Most of the times it's actually quite simple. All you need to do is remember the three main causes that can lead to disappearance and then be on the lookout for the key findings that can help in telling them apart, which is precisely what you're gonna learn in this video. So to understand the three main causes, we first need to remember that in a normal x-ray, the lungs look black because they are filled with air, right? Air allows most x-rays to pass through, and that in a chest x-ray makes the image look black or radiolucent if you want to use the proper terms. So we have to make that association. Lungs filled with air, nothing more, image looks black. And so for the image to appear white, one of three things needs to happen. Number one, the air in the alveoli is changed with something dense, something like fluid or cells. Dense stuff blocks x-rays. So by blocking them, the image is going to appear white. And this, by the way, is called consolidation, the feeling of the alveoli by something other than air. Now, the second option is that the thorax is getting occupied by something, again, something dense, that is actively pushing the alveoli against the corner, making the end result very similar. Something dense in the thorax that blocks the x-rays and you see the image as white. And the third option is that the alveoli are getting collapsed or absent. Now, here the problem is not that something dense came to the picture and blocked the x-rays, that didn't happen, just that there is no air for the x-rays to pass through, and so we end up with, again, a very similar radiographical result. So, when looking at an x-ray with a hemithorax opacification, which is the technical term for a one-sided white lung, the first thing we need to figure out is which one of these three processes is going on. Are the alveoli getting filled, getting pushed, or getting collapsed slash absent. Now, how to do this? Well, the structure that's gonna help us the most is the tracheobronchial tree. Why? Well, because when the alveoli, for instance, are getting pushed, well, that pushing is also going to deviate the tracheobronchial tree. I mean, if the alveoli are getting pushed, it's common sense that the structure from which the alveoli come out of is also going to be pushed as well. So yeah, we would see a white lung and the tracheobronchial tree deviated towards the opposite side. Now, on the contrary, when the alveoli are getting collapsed or they are absent, the tracheobronchial tree is going to collapse towards the white lung. It's like when you collapse a balloon. The walls of the balloon come closer to one another. Here, the same thing happens. You would see a white lung and the tracheobronchial tree deviated towards that white lung. Finally, when the alveoli are just getting filled, well, the tracheobronchial tree is going to stay centered because there is nothing pushing or pulling, just filling the structures with something else rather than air. So with that in mind, take a look at these images and try to figure out what's happening in each one of them. Pause the video if you want a little bit more time. All right, so the first image clearly shows a trachea that's being deviated away from the white lung, right? So we think that the alveoli are being pushed. That's it. Okay, so when this happens, our main differential is going to be a massive pleural effusion, an accumulation of liquid in the pleural space that gradually pushes the lung towards the other side. And of course, there are many other differential diagnoses to consider here, but most of them involve either an accumulation of fluid or a tumor from the pleura or nearby tissues. Now, in the second image, we notice the tracheobronchial tree being pulled towards the white lung, right? And so what are we thinking? collapsed or absent alveoli, right? Now, the first thing to do in this sort of image is to try to figure out which one of the two it is. Are the alveoli just collapsed or totally absent? A collapse or atelectasis is the most common diagnosis, but every once in a while you can also see patients who had one of their lungs removed, for instance, for the treatment of cancer. In this case, however, the diagnosis is clearly one of atelectasis. Why? Well, you see this? This is an endotracheal tube, and as you can appreciate, it is lodged right into the right main bronchus. So, let me ask you this. What happens if you intubate a patient but only give oxygen to one of his lungs? Well, this happens. The other one collapses. All right, and finally, we have this image that has the tracheobronchial tree centered. So, what are we thinking here? That's right, we're thinking consolidation. And so, our next question would be consolidation by what exactly? Well, depending on the case, we would consider maybe pus, water, proteins, blood, 
cells. Radiographically speaking, there's not many signs that can help tell these etiologies apart. So here we would rely mostly on history and physical to orient the diagnosis. And yes, in case you're wondering, here we would also need to consider mixed patterns. Uh, that means two concomitant syndromes that are simultaneously deviating the trachea to opposite directions and thus cancelling themselves out. However, this is rare and it would definitely not be the first differential to have in mind. Okay, and now quiz time. So take a look at this x-ray and try to figure out what's going on. What do you think are the main differential diagnoses here? And what do you think is the specific diagnosis here? Leave us a comment sharing your thoughts. And while you do that, I wanted to tell you in case you're interested that in Lecturio, we have a whole course dedicated to teach you about chest x-ray interpretation. In fact, this image I just showed you was taken directly from one of the lessons in the course. A lesson, and you guessed it, hemithorax opacification. If you prefer reading, we also have a great concept page that teaches you not only about x-rays, but also about CT scans, MRI, and even long ultrasound. We also have practice questions and quizzes to help you test yourself and make your study a whole lot more interactive. If any of that interests you, make sure to check the links in the description. For now, that was everything. Thanks for your time, and we'll see you in the next one.